Hello, Friday the 25th of April 2014. I'm glad you enjoyed the Waitrose visit, uh, video yesterday, uh, including the bit where I pop up, I pop up, boys and girls, out of the brown gardening bin that I have outside and do a, another peekaboo. Tommy, dear little Tommy, very high up in a bank somewhere, Tommy says that I have far too much time on my hands. I, I, I don't have too much time on my hands, but I'd just like to try and bring a little bit of sparkle into your sad, lonely, pathetic life. That's what it's all about. Just to make you laugh for a few seconds and, and then forget about the terrible, terrible lives that you must lead. Bored and poor and squimping and saving and unhappy. And for just a few moments, I try and make you forget that, Tommy. I mean, I'm, I'm just all heart. That's me. All right? So there we are. Popping up out. We're not doing any more peekaboo. Well, maybe one or two here at us. We'll just throw them in randomly. Uh, also, lovely Vicky has wrote an email saying, Dear Chris, I hope that brown bin was clean. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't actually. It wasn't. I had to change my T-shirt afterwards because it, it was full of grass. Because that is my gardening bin. I've got grass in it. And Vicky writes, Dear Chris... Waitrose is so clean and bright and pretty. Yes, you saw it on yesterday's video. A, a, a video almost in its entirety from Waitrose, the preferred supermarket of United Kingdom Tonga. Uh, the grocery stores near me are okay, but nothing like Waitrose. How big is that store? The Isle of Chips seems to be endless. I gave up all potato chips pretzels, or I had pretz a pretzel in America. Oh my God, how salty are they? They must be made entirely of salt, pretzels. Uh, corn chips she gave up, salty, crunchy, happy food for Lent. I can't just have one, I want the whole bag. This is my problem. This is my problem, uh, Vicky. And you know when you buy those multi-bags of crisps, they're even worse. You have a bag, then you go and get another one, then you go and get another one. And they're small bags, and you don't think you're eating so much, do you? No. Nope. Can't have any crisps, any cakes, any sweets in the house. Nothing like that, because it all goes. But the only thing I can have is a big thing of ice cream, and I will, I will take out a bit and have that and then put the rest back. I've just had a bit now, actually. Strawberry. Mm. Um, I want... Uh, Easter came and went, and I still haven't gone back to the salty snacks. No, I'm not going to either. I had a bag of crisps... Um, just after 12 o'clock on Easter Sunday, the moment Lent was over, and I didn't like them. I thought, my God, how much salt is there on these? So my body has now got used to not having the salt. And I think that's the way to go. Won't have them anymore. Uh, I, I wonder, um, actually, Vicky, is it the same as, like, giving up smoking? You know, so once you go, I just try one more cigarette, and you're hooked again. It could be like that with crisps. Be very careful. Don't try one to, quote, see what it's like. You'll be on them. You'll be hooked again. There are crisp dealers in London. Oh, yes. Do you know about those? Come closer. Crisp dealers. Yes. I mean, sometimes they're even working behind the bars that I work in. You can see them. So, to, uh, can I have a pint of lager, please? I see people going up to them. Pint of lager and a glass of wine. And they say, um, have you got any crisps? And, and the barman looks right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you want? Cheese and onion. And they are serving these crisp dealers, or as you call them, chip dealers, are serving them in full view of everyone else behind the, in, in the pub. Unbelievable. And nothing's done about it. Nothing's done. Crisp dealers. Nothing is done about it, dear. In full view of everyone. People selling Walker's cheese and onion crisps. I mean, the health... I'm just waiting for the doctors to come on the telly, you know. The government need to do something about this. They didn't do anything about it. Crisp dealers. Very dangerous. Don't, you know, don't get involved in a conversation with them. And they're working behind the bar. In full view of everyone. It's disgusting. It really is. Um, I used to have the salty snacks as a, cheap, as a treat. But something has changed in my outlook. And I'm thinking that a treat should be something that is good for me. Yes, I changed my crisps. For apples. Or at least something that is not bad for me. I hope that brown peekaboo bin was clean. No, it wasn't. 
wasn't clean. You're a good sport. Many thanks and best wishes, wish, wishes always from the lovely Vicky. Thank you, Vicky. Now, talking of food, in our live show tomorrow, I hope you'll be with me live tomorrow, okay? 12 o'clock in the afternoon, UK time for United Kingdom Talk, the live show, and where you can phone in, you can Skype in, you can email in, and it's all live. And I love it. Just for an hour, tomorrow afternoon. If you want to find how to get that, just go to unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk and you'll see a little link at the above. Click on there just before 12 o'clock so you're with us at 12. And it'd be nice to talk to you in the flow. And in tomorrow, we're going to be talking about Japanese women's diet of green leaf and raw fish. Oh, would make me feel sick just thinking about it, didn't you? Have a nice Friday. See you tomorrow at 12.